when you think of independent film, how does, what does that mean to you when you hear that phrase? Because it's it's become such a a big, vague thing and, and also very specific for people. They think of a lot of ways the studios, and I wonder what that means to you. I've really done everything pretty much the way I wanted to without having to, to answer to anyone creatively, and that feels like the most important thing for me to retain and that I wouldn't want to lose. So I guess that for me as independent film is not having to compromise anything creatively. I mean, I was making a film with a lot of sex in it, with Keep the Lights On, and a lot of, and it was a, a film with the gay subject characters in it, and um, and I wanted the film to be a very open film that wasn't repressed in certain ways that I felt that was actually the theme of the film, was the difficulty of the characters to share themselves with an audience. So as a filmmaker, I tried to channel the idea of independent meaning, meaning free. Like knowing that it's going to take a hell of a lot longer than you want it to take, always, 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 um, and to sort of not get distracted and at the same time leave open that possibility for not knowing. I think you make three films in the course of, of one, which is you write one and you think that's the movie and then you shoot another one and you think that's the movie and then you actually edit what becomes the movie. So it's always a process of, of, of process. Uh, being very prepared so that then you can kind of be loose and let things happen and let surprises unfold. So. You know, I think being as prepared as possible is, is a great idea for improvisation and spontaneity to happen. What is in common, and I think with all the people who, who have been nominated for the Spirit Awards, is this: is that the films look like the filmmakers somehow, where, where they look like the taste of the filmmakers, the voice of the filmmakers, what they the filmmaker believes is a good story, what the filmmaker likes to see in movies. They're actually very direct, and that would I would I would say is true with at least all the ones that I'm familiar with, um, is that somehow they reflect the taste very directly of the people who made them. At one point, just because I was getting hassled so much by my producers, I was like, "Fine, I'm going to go through and indent the damn dialogue," and that's all I did. I tabbed it in, and suddenly they were like, "Oh, it's so great! Now we have a script." I'm like, "That's the tab function, guys. Like that is the." Only thing that this the script like more than doubled in length. It was everyone was like, now you have a script, and that's it. I mean, that was the difference. It was the same words, but the dialogue was indented. And I think there's a problem with that kind of writing because it privileges the spoken word. And I think too many American films do privilege the spoken word. We're so used to everybody talking everything through and getting the story through what people say. And I think there's so much more, you know, in terms of image, sound, gesture, physicality, that is so much more interesting sometimes. You have to love the process and not really, for me, that just always uh, came naturally and not really thinking about, and, you know, maybe also to, to, a, uh, to a fault, but not really thinking about an end or, or, or the movie, where it's going to go and what's going to happen with it, so much as really enjoying the process, because that, I think, makes it worth it, is if you really love the journey. 